my name is Breeze and welcome to my channel. Happy SAS! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to bring this haul to you guys. I've been wanting to do this video for several days now. We're going on day five of semi-annual sales, so this video is definitely long overdue. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first place I went to was a pretty pretty decent place um there were some good items um just one bag from this place actually technically two but fun fact I actually went to this place two times in one day because I forgot to pick up my online order <laughs> so there was I went to pick up my online order and I actually did another haul uh while I was there picking up my online order so <laughs> First off, I got another full, well, technically, I didn't have the shower gel, but I got a full set of Sun Blooms and Suede. I personally think that this, um, this scent was totally slept on, in my opinion. It, it's, it's really good. It's kind of a really perfumey, sweet... To me, it smells like in the stars, almost, but just really sweet, so... I love it. Glad that I got another full set of that. Then, actually, they all the stores that I've been to have had a lot of this scent, which I'm really surprised about because I thought a lot of a lot of people loved this scent. But two more whipped rose and vanilla. I I only grabbed one at Christmas SAS, and I kind of regretted that. So I'm really glad that I guess people weren't loving it. So I got to grab two more. Then also, I was so excited to find this. Oh my gosh, because last SAS Christmas, I found the cream. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I really like this scent. It's really cute. It's super cute and girly. I mean, nothing super special, but I enjoy it. So super happy I have the cream now. Okay, let's just put all of this back in that bag. Bag one, done. And then, okay, I guess we'll just go to the haul I did later that day at the same place. I found the Among the Clouds perfume, you guys. I know. I was so excited. I walked in and I was just looking, you know, at the 75% at the off table, just checking if they had put anything new out. And then I look up and I'm like, no way. No way. There was actually four of them. But I only grabbed one. I, I don't I don't like to be that person that goes in and is like, oh, there's only a couple of these things. Let me grab all of them. I, I don't know. I, I personally just don't want to don't want to be that way. So I just grabbed one, but it is absolutely beautiful. Like th the light in here is not really doing it justice. But when you see it in the sunlight, like this rainbow bottom just comes alive and it's beautiful. The scent is nothing too, too crazy. It's just a, a berry vanilla, but I really enjoy it. And I, I really wanted the perfume when it came out this spring, but I was like, I'm not spending $50. Yeah, $49.95. I'm not spending $50 just for a berry vanilla scent, but I'm very glad I found it. I really want to find the Dream Bright or the Butterfly, but I don't know if the SAS gods, I guess, if they're listening, like I really want to find them. So... Um, but very happy I found the Among the Clouds, and, uh, yeah. Then, I believe, yeah, so these were a part of my online order. My, my pickup order. I got Watermelon Mojito. This is actually for, did I just say Watermelon Mojito? Watermelon Mojito. <laughs> for my cousin, she said she really enjoys this scent. It's not like... Yeah. I don't know. To me, it's just it's just basic. I'm not huge on watermelon though, so uh, if you like watermelon, I'm sure you like this. But um, glad to hear that she liked it. Had to get her one. Now the infamous Plumeria. I know everybody's been so excited that this came back. Um, I uh, <laughs> I'm probably gonna take this back. I I feel bad saying that, and I. Mm, and I can't, I can't, I can't decide if I want to take it back or if I want to keep it for collection purposes. Everything in me is saying just take it back. 
it just I don't want to say this but it smells dated <laughs> and I, that sounds so snobby but it's just not doing it for me which is crazy because okay here's the scent notes pink plumeria peach nectar red apple night blooming jasmine and gardenia petals I like all of those scent notes but I've never smelled plumeria so I think it's the plumeria that I don't like unfortunately so unfortunately I think that I'm just gonna take this back but a lot of people are super happy about this scent coming back so it's clearly a personal problem mm -hmm. then also I picked up a hello beautiful shower gel I love this scent and and this is another reason where I'm like it can't be the gardenia or the jasmine because there's gardenia and jasmine in this and I absolutely love this scent oh I love it I, I really wanted to grab the shower gel and the lotion spray cream all of it because apparently they're discontinuing this for a little bit and I just really love this scent I wanted to make sure that I had it and lord knows when they bring it back it's going to be more expensive and I, I just I'm not even I'm not gonna play with it I just went ahead and grabbed it uh, then actually when I went back I grabbed another pink chiffon because I smelled it and I kind of fell in love with it grabbed another one I also grabbed a Midnight Amber Glow Body Lotion. I was super excited to find this because I, when this came out last fall, I, I liked it, but it was like, I was so into Pinkberry Clouds, Bonfire Bash, Sweet Whiskey, that this kind of just went under the radar for me. And I, I was kind of disappointed in myself for that because they discontinued it right after that. And yeah, so really happy I found this. And I also grabbed me and my boyfriend, yes, because I'm also going to use this, the Aloe and Palm from the Nutris collection that dropped uh, mid-spring, I'd say. Oh, I love it. I I really like this. I Whenever I let him smell it, because I brought home a couple of the testers, like uh, the little test strips, because <laughs> they're pretty strong. And I let him smell it, and he was just really not into this one. He was okay with the baby. He was okay with the bamboo and surf, but he really just wasn't a huge fan of this one. So let me just pick up everything I just dropped. Anyway, he wasn't a huge fan of this one, but I was like, you know what? It's like $4 or maybe $3.87, whatever. I'm like, um, we're, we're getting it. So I'll use some of it, but you can't ever go wrong with a good old shower gel. Okay, let me put all of that back. So this was at, I believe, was this at, yes, this was at my mall location. <laughs> I found Starlet Night. I love Starlet Night. Oh gosh. I, well, okay. I'm not going to open it because I don't want air to get in there or whatever, but I love Starlet Night. I wish I could have found another mist of it, but I've got a couple backups, so I'm all right. But yeah, Snowberry, Midnight Iris, Central Agarwood. This is like... This is like Starlet, or not Starlet Night, Starlet Night. This is like In the Stars, but with just like more berry, like more deep berry, if that makes any sense. It's it's a beautiful scent from Christmas, so very glad I have that. Then I found my boyfriend, the After Dark Cologne. I actually wanted to get him this at the Christmas SAS, but they ran out by time I came in to get it and I, I had put off getting it because it was on the 50% off table for forever. So I waited, but I'm glad I waited because I got it for him now. This is the, oh, can you even read it? Spice Bergamot Amber and Smooth Tonka. Beautiful. Grabbed my Hello Beautiful Mist. It's so funny because Every set or every piece I got from this set, I got at a different location. <laughs> so very happy I have this. Grab my boyfriend the aloe and palm or the aloe and palm leaf bar soap. I absolutely love this set. I found the whiskey reserve for him. This is this is an amazing scent. I, I really hope that they just keep this around forever. Okay, we are done with that one. 
Oh, and I did get quite a few candles, but I'm just gonna save those until the end because they're just in one big bag and they're all from different locations. But one of them comes with a story. The Hello Beautiful Cream, again, love this scent. I went ahead and grabbed the Emerald Mist and the Shower Gel just because I don't mind this scent, but I didn't want to add it to my collection in the Fragrance Mist and the Cream just because I, it's not special enough for me to need a mist and a cream. It's, it is really nice. And I, I will admit that as I'm smelling it, I do kind of wish I had it in a cream just cause it smells fresh, but honestly, it, it's not the end of the world. It's good enough for a shower gel. Um, and yeah, that'll do it for me. And I'm pretty sure that there's still quite a few at my locations, so, well, at the locations I've been to, so I could go grab another one if I really wanted to, but Pink Lily and Bamboo. I actually already have this in a shower gel, but I, I was savoring it because I didn't have another one, but now I can go ahead and use that one and have this one for next spring. And then I also found two Pink Lily and Bamboo in the Fine Fragrance Mist. Very, very happy about that. I have fallen in love with this scent and I only have one backup and I, 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 excuse me. <laughs> I have heard that this scent actually had been out before, but I believe it was like almost 10 years ago that they brought it out and they, I mean, everybody's saying that they haven't seen it since. And so I was like, well, we're not playing around. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get my backups. And by time Christmas SAS was over, I, I ran out of time and only had one backup. So very glad I found another one and the shower gel. Didn't find a cream, but that's all right. You know, and they don't last very long anyway. And as long as I've got some, sh uh, so miss, I'm good. Okay, I went ahead and used a reward, which this is so funny. Was this at, okay, yes, I'm getting all of these mixed up. This was at the Lee Summit location. Funny enough, so I went ahead and grabbed the Cotton Candy Clouds in the mist because I love Pinkberry Clouds. And this is the Cotton Candy Clouds, which is basically the full version of Pinkberry Clouds, you know, so it doesn't have the fresh air note like Pinkberry Clouds does. Uh, and I've been just so excited to smell this and get this. So I was like, you know what? I don't even care. I'm going to use a reward because I, I personally am not going to spend like what, $8.50 or something like that on a half price mist and cream and gel and whatever. I'm not doing it and I don't trust that they will honor the price adjustment thing. I, I've never personally done it so I, I don't trust it and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna use a reward. But funny enough, I bring it up there and I'm like, oh, can I use my reward on this? And she's like, this isn't gonna take $16.50 off of the total. She's like, you might wanna, go, you're gonna, you know, you, you should go pick out a full priced item. And I'm like, you know, I know that they don't know that I'm a fanatic for Bath and Body Works, but I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, please, just let me, just let me use my reward. <laughs> and so I'm like trying to explain to her that like, I know, I know it's okay. I know that this is $8 right now, but I'm still not going to pay $8 for this right now. And yeah, but it was all said and done. We got it done and it's beautiful. Okay, so that is everything for, because I'm pretty sure this was all in one. Yeah, this was all in one day. This is day one of SAS, which I, I, I've already been day two and three. I just figured I would just do it in separate videos. So this is day one. We're done with the body care. Now let's just do the candles, which are super duper fun. And I'm so excited to show you guys what I grabbed. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> if I can grab it. Okay. So I, disclaimer, I did shop some of the 1095 candles. Personally, I'm not a huge candle connoisseur. I would like to be, but if I'm being honest, I, I don't need an addiction to candles. Uh, I already break the bank enough with body care. <laughs> if I had an addiction to candles, um, 
we would be out of a house we would out we wouldn't have food we would i i you know we'd be living under a bridge somewhere <laughs> so i did shop the 1095 because i didn't buy any candles this spring summer whatever i well okay no actually i'm lying to you i did buy i did buy two i bought ice lemon pound cake and i bought what did I buy? I got one more. I don't remember. Fresh cut lilacs? Mm, I think it's fresh cut lilacs. Anyway, that's why I went a little, little in on the 1095 candles, which I really didn't go that ham on. I just, I bought a couple, <laughs> even though I know a lot of people are only for the 75% off candles. But if I'm being honest, my stores around me in the KC area, and I've actually gone to more now. Uh, I've only shown you three stores in this video, but I've actually gone to five now. And all of these posts I'm seeing on Facebook in the Bath and Body Works pages I'm in, everybody's showing like walls of 75% off candles, you know, or whole kiosks of 75% off candles. You guys, I'm telling you, I, we around here we're lucky to find four on the on the dang 75% off table. And if then it's gonna be fresh balsam, Lord knows. <laughs> so I'm lucky that I got what I got, and I did actually find a really cool 75% off find. So we'll probably do that one last. But okay, let's go. I did find into the night which is a really cool find um fun fact this was at the lee summit location the lady was walking out with the candles in her hand she's like these are 70 and, and i'm telling you there was a swarm of people she's walking out holding these candles and she's like i have some 75 percent off candles if you guys are interested and she could barely put them down we were all just oh 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 and so I was super happy to grab this one. There, another lady actually grabbed the peppermint sugar cookie, which I really wish I could have got, gotten. But you know what? I think that this is actually a way cooler find. A lot of people really love the signature scent candles. And for some reason, this one just looks weird. I don't know. I don't know if the light will show that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of showing what's going on. I think that means somebody tried to burn it or maybe they just stuck their finger in there. I'm not sure because you can kind of see it over here. Don't mind my band-aids. There's still, um, there's some wax over here. I'm not sure, but I, I don't care. It smells super good. I, I don't know if I'm ever going to burn this. Uh, I might, I might not. We'll see. Then, I had to do it because everybody has talked about this candle and I went and smelled it in there with my boyfriend uh, probably two months ago. And I was like, I have to get my hands on this at some point. And I'm super blessed that my store had a couple in stock. So I actually got two of them. The other one is right here. If I can pick it up. So I got two of them. I just figured, you know what? A lot of people love this candle. Maybe it'll come back, maybe it won't. And I really love this candle. <sighs> to me, it just smells like coffee, but I guess you kind of maybe smell lavender in there somewhere. I don't know. I'm glad to have it. And I went ahead and grabbed another ice lemon pound cake. You can't go wrong. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> My store has a lot of these right now, but I, I kind of did my 1095 haul. I don't need a lot of candles. I don't burn candles that often, but when I do, I do enjoy them. But my store has a ton of them right now, so. But now they're 1295. I'm like, what are we doing? Why are they getting more expensive? Like, hello? Whatever, Bath and Body Works. I did find a fresh balsam. It's, uh basically a Christmas tree and a candle. <laughs> I, I like it. I think it'll be really nice in during the Christmas time, you know, kind of flood your house with pine. I think it'll be really nice. So very, very nice, especially because we're supposed to be moving here in a couple months. Whatever house we get is going to be smaller than the one we're in now. Um, so this is definitely going to be a way heavy hitter in any house we get so i'm excited and the packaging's really cute i can't lie i really like the stripes and it's a wraparound like 
I mean, come on. And then I've been really wanting this candle, the Under the Magnolia Tree. It's so pretty. I love it. And I, I just, I love magnolia. And it just, oh, it smells so good. What is in here again? Magnolia petals, lemon zest, and peach blossoms. You really can smell the magnolia and the lemon zest. I don't know about the peach. Maybe when it's burning, you can smell it. I don't know. But I was very glad that they still had one of these in stock. And then, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. So this is the really cool find. This was one of the candles because when that lady brought out the um 75 percent off candles that i was telling you about where we were just snatching them up she came out twice and so a lot of us were kind of just you know hovering <laughs> around the area she put them down at and she brought these out and i immediately just was like please i like i said to the ladies around i was like please let me have this one please break off oh my gosh okay so uh, this candle's been around forever i'm pretty sure but i had never smelled it because i i believe this came out on candle day last year and i i again like i said i'm not a huge candle connoisseur so i didn't really shop candle day and obviously of course these were gone after candle day so i never got to smell them and uh now i can it really, it, it it smells like Tutti Frutti candy, if I'm being honest. Maybe a little bit different, but yeah, it's it's giving Tutti Frutti candy. Fl fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, and sugared lemon. I mean, come on. This, this is literally Tutti Frutti candy. It's really good, though. Probably won't burn it, but very, very good. Okay, so that is all for my day one semi-annual sale haul. I have really enjoyed myself so far and my bank account has it, <laughs> but I have. And yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed myself. I think that, you know, has it been the best SAS ever as far as like, you know, 75% off candles go? No. Um, I do think the variety could be a little bit better as far as the body care and stuff like that. But of course that's completely subjective to your own store and your own location. So, uh, but I can't complain. I have made out like a bandit and I am very, very happy. And I actually have another, well, I, I'll probably do, I'll probably do day two and three at the, in the same video, but I actually have more in my room right now. So <laughs> this is just day one and it's, yeah, it was a beautiful haul. I'm very happy with it and I'm very excited to keep shopping. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what you have found, what were your gems you found at semi-annual sale. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!